hello hello it's Beezer and today we're going to be doing from space as well as bramble so i have part one of bramble already on the upload literally to my side here and now we're doing space we're going to do two, ugh, we're going to do two games at once and we're going to knock it out hopefully we can get this done too now i will say i have played this already but i didn't record it because i was on my old xbox and I don't really remember the plot all too well. Um, actually, I didn't pay attention to the plot all too well. I just ran through the game. And then I got disappointed at the end. You'll see what I mean. It's more for the gamer experience that you'll be disappointed. Not for the person watching. But this is a good game I do recommend. Not only that, but um, this game's not very popular. So there's not many like informational videos on it. So... One thing I will say is that if you are playing from space and you're like trying to work with a squad, you should probably go with the goalkeeper. He like sets up a fence that people can't get by. Flame Trooper, eh, he's alright, I guess, for a solo, but he's also good for solo. We see him, he's alright, nothing too crazy. I really mained, uh, who'd I main? I think it was Combat Engineer with his shotgun. I didn't really play him. This dude is like super confusing. But honestly, if I do have the time, I probably should like play each person through. This person, if you get collaterals, you know, two people or more in one shot, you can like have more accuracy and speed. Don't know about him. So yeah, that's just like the gist of it. So we're just gonna hurry up and get somebody and get on with it. Oh, they already have a new character in the game? These, these two people were not here before. I just noticed that. It was actually just him. Okay. Interesting. Um, wow, okay. Now I'm not sure what to do here. I'm going to try someone new. But Okay, let's go with... Um, uh, someone safe for a starter. I'm not really sure who that'd be. Yes, I could do combat engineer, but oh, something to mention is that when you hit max level, your really good perks that you know when you're getting XP, you get like a quick recharge of your stuff that just disappears. Something to keep note. I would say I'm going to try someone new, and that's going to be scavenger, because defensive can solo. I could do grenadier, but no, nah, I don't. I don't know. I think I'll try scavenger. It's a new class. Let me see what perks he has. Interesting. Huh. Okay, what does he have? So he's like... Him. I want to see what this is about. So we'll try him for now. For now. Oh wait, is this DLC characters? I don't even have to worry about them. And there was a symbol to the top there that I didn't notice. Okay, well we'll start with combat. Uh, I did combat engineer. We'll start out with um, electrician. Why not? We'll do electrician. Yeah, electrician. Also, I will say there's a lot of reading that goes into this game. And I don't want to stand here like... um wasting too much time if all the reading alien invasion you have to do different missions for different factions and whatnot rescues clearing alien presence and then you get to um fight the boss that was like a really big summary but that's like the gist of it from being honest here okay my aiming's kind of wonky because i usually have the uh what you would call it 
I wouldn't say it's a control freak, but it's like a control freak where you get something that increases the height of your analog stick. That's what I have, or what I had, but I'm using a different controller. Sweet. Just what I needed. How many do I have? Or how many did I grab? Oh, that's right. Kind of forgot my HUD on the bottom left. All right. Sweet. Good to go. We'll just take like five. Well, if we are going to take these nades out into the real world, Jack I might as well stack up on 40, you know? Kind of forgot if we do, though. Just what I needed. Yeah. This is how you do that. Oh, I guess my grenades disappeared just that quick. Both of them did. Okay. I guess that would be cheating, huh? Alright, let's get her going. I may do this entire campaign solo, actually. Because, um... If I wait for people, you know, I'll, I'll have to wait for my squad to get on or this or that. So I think I'll just do a solo lobby. And I do remember how to solo, um... What do you call it? I do remember how to solo this game. And it is done with combat engineers. A little bit annoying at times, but with the amount of turrets you can place down, you can solo. So this isn't going to be too much of a campaign one. This is just going to be more of a playing off the grid, not really noticed game. I think it's best to balance those two. And I'm looking forward to it. This is why I kind of wanted to have music. Or maybe this would just be like one of the videos that I'll watch. Not me. I'm not going to watch myself. But like you, know, you watch those videos where people are just talking and like you just have it in the background. Like it would be one of those videos. Not ASMR though. Cause, or would that be ASMR? Yeah, ASMR. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I guess ASMR is really anything you hear that just relaxes you, right? So can't really avoid it. But I wouldn't want to call it that because for me... Anything other than just like somebody talking in the background, you know, normally it's pretty annoying. I don't know about you guys, but when I, oh no, not when I have to, but when I'm scrolling and I see something about somebody, um, <laughs> tapping a cup with their acrylic nails, something about it just pisses me off. Or like breathing in the mic. Now see, when I hear myself breathe in the mic, it's annoying. Like, I'm trying to fix the audio issue and get the right mic placement so you guys can not only hear me, but not have to hear me breathe. And I'm still having to figure that one out. I don't know what the solution to that is going to be just yet, but... I mean, if that annoys me, I, I would think it would annoy me when somebody's intentionally doing it with a much higher quality mic. Like, my goodness, whatever, whatever. Let's not rant about ASMR too much. Let's get this on. But yeah, so for this character, who did I go again? I went um combat, no, not combat engineer. I think it was electrician. Something to note is that if you are playing this game and you have low HP and you get to a, you know, a base of operation like this, we have a save and a switch specialist, you can easily go to this screen and back right out and you're at full HP and full armor. Something to note. Okay, let's see. I really, and also everyone, everyone's XP level is up the same, apparently. So, something to note too. These guys, the scout, I believe, yeah, Sniper has a Claymore, which is mildly useful. It can be a waste pretty quick, though, when you're in a horde. The bomb for the scout class, however, I'm going to show you what this scout class does. Not only is this a part one, but this is like a, if you're trying to play a game like this, that's pretty off the grid, you know, not a lot of people know about it. It's pretty new. Then you're gonna need some kind of explanation. That's what I was looking for, actually. I was looking for an explanation. 
like what would be the best strats what would be this what would be that now there are some for like horde mode on this game but we're not going to do that we're just going to do campaign it's just i need to lay the foundation for if someone needs this information like how to use all the abilities the best way to use them maybe i'll do that i'll do that on the side i don't know but yeah, these are just what you would destroy to clear the presence of aliens. It would make the boss fight at the very end of each map easier. You'll see in a second. Should be a meter that appears. But yeah, this is actually really fun to play in the squad though. It's just I don't really have too many people to play this with. No matter how much you recommend someone a game they're probably going to forget. Because trust me, this is a fun game to recommend, I would say. I could turn the music up more, actually. I don't think it's copyrighted. I would have to take that chance, right? I think... I mean, Twitch does the job of checking if it's copyrighted, so... And I, I was fine, actually, so let's turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. I don't need my voice drowned out by the music, you know? Wait, can I just like listen to it as I talk and whatnot? Ah, uh, whatever. All this overthinking. Let's just keep it going. I want to get this over with. Because it's a good campaign. I think the real fun begins at the subway or something. I forgot what map it starts. Also, that top left with the different ammo types is something to take into consideration. You got ballistic ammo and you got blast ammo. That's the red ammo. Blast does good against some. Ballistic does good against some. And then they also do bad against others. So, something to note. Something to note. Let me see. I actually don't know how long these parts are going to be. Because these missions can get lengthy. So, I mean, well, the missions themselves can go by pretty quick. But actual progression can be pretty lengthy. But yeah, definitely recommend the squad for this. If you have the time, that is. And people who would actually play the game. Because I would recommend this, but... It's my friends, but it doesn't last very long. Their attention spans may not be the longest, per se, per se. Yeah, see, pretty easy to level up for the most part. If you did all the side missions as well, which are pretty easy to do, the side missions are what I just did basically, of just going somewhere, grabbing something, and bringing it somewhere else, or like transporting a person. The side missions are super simple and can level you up, but after leveling up to max uh, XP and getting the depressing realization that because I no longer can gain any more XP, it makes my perks useless. I was so disappointed. Because you have like great perks where if you gain XP you get really good class weaponry. But like for some reason they just didn't think about that I guess. Or maybe they did. And maybe it would just be overpowered and too easy. But yeah. When this game first started out I got on it for the first time. I was like super sketch. But that's how like most games are. If I post Vigor, you would understand what I meant by like the beginning of Vigor. You sort of like some crash tunnel. This is like easy creds if I'm correct. Oh, right, right, right. This is like a little mini ambush or whatever. Let me get set up here. I don't, okay, I was about to say, I don't really know what that did.
get these. I can't wait to upgrade my stuff. It makes it so much easier. Oh man, I'm a little bit tired, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even know those boxes. Okay. Something to know with these is that the middle light you're about to see is not an HP bar. It's like a wave counter. It's something to note. Yeah, when it disappears, one light like that, that's just a wave being started. And if you do want to level up and get to the end, which I wouldn't recommend, like I recommend going to level 29 and just staying at level 29 somehow, but. Um, if you do want to get the max XP, you could do that by just farming these. Because at the higher levels, it, this is just two, but there will be like, I think, five. And more enemies and higher XP, but yeah. guys are super weak. Jeez Louise, man. Jackpot. Oh, I didn't even use my preparations that I made. Is that something? I wonder if more enemies would spawn if I left this alone. Actually, I might have to. Maybe I'm like too far into the, or, or not far enough into the game. Oh, never mind. It was just that weak. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this stuff would weaken enemy presence or alien presence. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to save. I do not recommend burning your creds right now. Like, that was just the beginning. How long was that? Like, not 20 some minutes, but it's getting there. We'll do 30, uh, 30 minutes. I think I was like five minutes into like redoing something over again. Okay, so look, let me just explain this really quick, at least for the scout. So, I think this is really important. If you're playing with other friends, um, you get movement and reload speed increase, which is good and something to take into consideration. And if you pair that with, say, combat engineers ammo box, where when you guys are all next to each, when you're next to the box, you get ammo of every type, infinite ammo for a short time. So you compare that, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good combination or if you another nasty combination is he uses ballistic ammo for his uh, gatling gun so if you mix that with combat engineers ammo box he does have to you know slow down on his uh he does have to let his gun cool down after a certain amount of shooting but you can just basically let it spray and the ammo box is going to refill it you know no problem and then if the ammo, if the combat engineer is shooting himself, if he himself is shooting enemies and he's getting XP, he gets his ammo box back and it's just a really solid combination. But yeah, so as for scout, these classes are virtually the same. They both have the bomb. Um, only difference is he gets like adrenaline and like more melee damage and she, if I'm correct, has, has a heated or lightning blade. 
So one is just overall more melee damage, basic melee damage, and one's just elemental damage, basically, for the knife. So I'm just going to briefly explain those, or show them in action at some point. Yeah, otherwise they have... Oh yeah, spawns an item after a certain amount of XP. That's a really, really good perk that I can't wait to show you guys. I think I'll have like time skips for people who already know this stuff. So people can just keep going on. Over here. That toxic sludge slows them down. Something to note. And I think it would do more damage depending on the enemy. Because I think that's plasma damage if I'm correct. This is a side mission, but it's not really... Again, if you just want to level up quickly, that's what you would do it for. Um, hold on. There's so many different, like, mean combinations that would work within a team. That's why I recommend playing this in a team. Solo is just like, okay, let's just get this game over with. But, you know, highly recommend with a team. Better than nothing, I guess, right? Okay. Wasn't there a rifle? Yeah, it's on the other side. This guy's pretty easy to beat. You just gotta dash away when he's attacking. What's this? See? Yeah, it's pretty easy to beat. And just wait till I get an upgraded gun. something that's super important to do is like explore like all of the map something to mention that might actually i'll do that like off camera but we'll stick to the priorities here just know that if i get when i get into the next video you select like the whole map explored i may not have done the next mission but i did walk around because like this map gets pretty big each map does Yeah, I will have to be careful with my ammo usage actually because I'm so used to playing combat engineer who has his own ammo box and everything. Okay, so I made it here. What's my mission? Look for the energy harvester. This might be a good spot to stop it. Or maybe I can get like one big mission done and then I'll stop it. I think that's a good idea actually. 
kind of forgot when I get my specialist weapon too. Let me see what's in here. I think a good starter weapon is just a rifle. The grenade, la the grenade launcher is pretty mid. You have a triple barrel shotgun for this class, so there's no need for a double barrel. In that case, I just need a weapon shop to upgrade. Yeah. Um, also, you can come over here and place a weapon in this dash for a different class if you want. Okay. Alright, let's get this waypoint done. We'll do a side mission, actually. I think that's what I just started. As long as I don't do too many and get disappointed. There's a little mission over there, or a little mini battle. get sidetracked too much. I really don't want to have that nonsense happen. It's such a stupid feature. You max out and then you're like, oh, you can't get any more XP. Therefore, your like, perks that you've used to get to this point are completely useless. I was so depressed to find that out. Nice job. Oh, I think this is my uh, class ability. Okay, yeah, let me show it off real quick. So you put a bomb down. You activate it, you have to hold A to activate it. Hold on. You activate it, two second timer, and it is a big explosion. And this purple thing would be your class item, I'm pretty sure. It it's different for each class, like it just shows a bomb for scout, but it would be like a... For the turret box, it would be a purple lined turret. I'll show in, at some point. That enemy is pretty useless. It's a new one, but it's not too bad. Like that bomb would be great against a big horde, actually, and much better than the claymore. Okay, so What's this? sometimes I think about like. How I'm playing a silly, not serious game, but like it just sounds like I'm being super serious. I mean, look at that. That's a really good bomb, is it not? Oh my goodness. That's like the only drawback, though. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be an achievement. That's not fair. Hold on. I'm getting chewed up out there. I need to recuperate. If you look at my top left, my HP just got refilled. It's a pretty good feat. Okay, how would I go to the ammo? He's got it. But yeah, that bomb is amazing. Clears a crowd really well. It might... Oh, I'm not done yet, but... Yeah, if you get all the eggs and then you do it, that's actually a pretty good thing to do. Let me see if I can do it. Get like a really big bomb. Hit. Here we go. And a nade could potentially... Well, it wouldn't do the same exact same effect. There would be a smaller radius, but maybe a nade could do the trick too. What am I missing? There's like one more egg of some sort. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Here we go. And you see that blue bar? Once you get to those different chapters or checkpoints, it makes the boss battle easier. Now, honestly, since I know where the boss battle is, I could just go right to that boss battle and, like, solo. Well, not now, but, you know, if I were upgraded. Not too much, though. You 
Your left and right D-pad are to cycle your items, by the way, at the bottom left. Something else to keep note of. Like, not only am I playing through, but I got a tutorial for people. Because this game does not have a lot of explanation. It's like the issue with lower... Uh, no, no, lower notice games, if you will. Low notoriety, whatever. They don't think too much on a tutorial. The game is fun, don't get me wrong, but they don't think too much on a tutorial. had a uh, toxic sludge. Oh, that would be perfect right now. Actually, a landmine is still good. Landmines are also good for board clearing. Okay, I don't know when I'm going to get my specialist weapon, though. I kind of forgot when that happens. Wait, do I go this way? Hold on. Not sure which way I go, to be honest. Yeah, this is a turret, but the purple one, there would be a purple one like that. That little triangular box I just picked up, it would be a purple one that you have for the engineer. It's like a Uzi turret. You could repair them and it's so useful. This game, it, this game's like a, it's not a walk in a park when you have co-op, it's just like, I, I don't know the word, you know, it's just everything works together like a, a well-oiled machine. Okay, I have been playing for quite some time, so I'm going to stop it here. And then I'll just pick up at a later date. So that's the plan. See you guys in the next one.